Vaughn Grissom, what a debut. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Thursday, August 11th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Chris Towers. And let's talk about Braves top prospect Vaughn Grissom getting called up to play second base as Orlando Arcia was placed on the IL. 21-year-old getting called up from Double A. A huge debut here on Wednesday. He went two for four with a sock and a shoe, a home run and a steal. 412-foot homer. It was an absolute rocket. He's 12, uh, 17% rostered. Chris, what do you think about Grissom? And is he a must-add? Yeah, I mean, it's not 100% clear like what his long-term role is with the Braves. If Ozzy Albies gets back, is he going to be able to play every day? Is this just a short-term call-up? I, I tend to think, you know, to, to quote Jurassic Park, life finds a way. And if Von Grissom is playing at a high level and performing well and hitting like he can, like he showed he can in the minors, they'll figure something out, whether that's moving him to the outfield and giving him a try there or, or or something else. These things tend to work themselves out. And so I'm not too worried about playing time. It's more a question of Grissom. Can he hit? You know, the, the minor league track record suggests he's going to make a lot of contact. He started to hit for some power this season, 17 homers in about 90 games. That had been a bit of an outlier for his career. And if you read the scouting reports, he's viewed as someone who has probably – average ish raw pop and so you know he has to get a lot out of the quality of con the, the quality of contact that he does have probably won't be great it'll probably be a very contact forward approach that you know he can get the most out of by maybe pulling some balls down the line or you know a little like Ozzy Albies you know when he's hit going well so you know it's something to keep in mind with Grissom is that you know it's asking a lot for him to make the leap from 21 years old to the majors from trip from double a so the the odds are against him with how minor leaguers have gone the last couple of seasons but i still think he's worth adding in categories based leagues just because of the the potential power speed combo there hey it worked for his teammate uh michael harris so we'll see yeah. if it can uh, work for vaughn grissom as well would you rather add him or paul de young chris someone i know you do like quite a bit recently yeah that's a really tough one and it, it might come down to the old uh you know Grissom in Roto, DeYoung in points, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe flip it. Maybe DeYoung in points. It's not really an obvious uh, an obvious one there, I guess, because DeYoung at his worst strikes out so much. But I think DeYoung's more likely to make an impact. You know, we've seen him hit the ball really well since coming back from the minors. He was doing well at, at AAA as well. So I think he's more likely, but Grissom probably has more upside. All right, beat the waiver wire with these two start pitchers for next week. Hopefully, they're two star pitchers. All of them pitched well here on Wednesday. I'll just run through the matchups here. Jeffrey Springs, he is up against the Royals and at the Yankees next week. Josiah Gray looks like he has the Cubs and at the Padres. Johnny Cueto going up against the Astros and at the Guardians. Jose Quintana is up against the Rockies uh, at home in St. Louis, that start, and then at the Diamondbacks. And Justin Steele is up against the Brewers and at the Nationals. Chris, five names there. Who are your three favorite? Yeah, I think Springs might be the best pitcher of this group, but he's actually fourth on my list because if all these guys make two starts with the matchups, I do have Justin Steele as the top option because he gets pretty good matchup against Milwaukee. You know, not a great one, but not a bad one. And then another really good matchup against Washington, which he had a really good start against on Wednesday night. So I think that combined with the fact that he's a spark in a points league makes him, you know, pretty close to a must start. If you can fit him in a relief pitcher spot, then I would go Quintana. You know, he had a good start against the Rockies at course field. They're much worse away from Colorado. So I think that home start against Colorado and then at chase field with the diamondbacks, that's a very good place to pitch uh, makes him a good option. And then I would put Johnny Cueto third. All right. Last question that I have here between these two Hopefully closers, you know, you never know nowadays. But Sir Anthony Dominguez struck out two for his eighth save. That's now two saves in a row for him. And uh, since David Robertson was traded there, he only has one save. Dominguez has two. So I, I guess Dominguez is still the 
closer or, you know, getting the majority of the saves for the Phillies. And then Jonathan Hernandez, he looks like the closer for the Rangers, and he's actually available in more leagues. So, Chris, who would you rather have between those two, Dominguez versus Hernandez? Yeah, I think what it might come down to is I feel more confident that Johnny Hernandez is the closer than Sir Anthony Dominguez is the closer. I think Sir Anthony Dominguez is more like a closer with David Robertson. You know, he did get the save in his first appearance. He hasn't had a save since, so make of that what you will. But the Phillies have been a little hesitant to just have one closer for most of this season, so I would expect that'll continue, and and Robertson will still get his looks. Hernandez does have to deal with Joe Barlow uh, returning from that. I think it was a finger injury, but they had already removed him from the closer role before the injury, so I don't think he's just going to come back and take it. I think it's Hernandez's job to lose for now. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 